All right, that's good, James. Okay, we just got the car sandblasted. You can see it looks totally different. And it did a beautiful job sandblasting it. And got all the rust off. So uh, there you go. It's a 199% difference just looking at it. Go ahead and get it back to the shop and uh, get it back, get it into epoxy primer. That's the next step on this deal. Uh, we wanted to get the door sandblasted, but I guess James was misunderstood on that. But yeah, that's our next step. We're gonna take it back. We got epoxy prime that thing inside and out to seal it so it doesn't rust again. We'll see you at the shop when we get there. too quick for us bud slow down we're gonna go out there and look at that car come on let's go well we got our uh, Mustang back and uh, I'm gonna tell you something after we had a sandblasted and really really looked at it vigorously we got a lot of fucking issues with this thing what you're about to look at is basically the beginning of a fucking horror story this is the beginning of a nightmare that's going to take a long fucking time to wake up and realize it's actually a car. Okay, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to come over here and talk with me, you can, but we don't need to walk around the car while I'm showing everybody, okay? I still have the steering column to do. What? I still have the steering column. Well, fuck the steering column right now. Okay? Wait. Do you see what we got here? We got a fucking nightmare here, bud. Did you look at this car? You don't even know what you're looking at, and you already know it's a nightmare. Am I right or wrong? I call it a bucket full of solutions. You know, when it was a rust bucket from hell, or should we say from New Jersey, uh, it actually looked like it was in better shape when it was all rotted and rusted out looking because we didn't really unveil all of the problems that we actually have with this car. Here's a problem right here. Look at this. Look at the fucking gap. Now, they didn't replace this right here. This has not been a replaced piece. This is just rotted out. Uh, the torque box, that's a torque box down there. They call that a torque box. It's, it's part of the frame structure that holds this car together. It's completely rotted out and the firewall, the inner firewall has rotted out with it. And then that leads us into this frame rail here, this front frame rail. Uh, this is a unibody car. I'm not going to call anything a frame, but you do have frame rails on the front end that hold it together. That's rotted out. That's completely rotted out down here. You can see where somebody had uh, tack welded all this together because it was probably falling apart. The bumper was falling off, so they went ahead and tack welded that on. This front uh, lower core support section, that's rotted. The core support itself is rotted. This fender well here, this inner fender splash, fucking inner fender well thing here, uh, we didn't have that sandblast because that needs replaced. And then we come over here, uh, what we were looking at before, we come over here and we see this torque box. Somebody actually replaced this torque box, but look at the tacky ass bullshit work they did to it. Uh, they didn't even fit it in there properly. It's just sitting in there, basically. Look at the fucking hole in the fucking floor here that goes into this torque box. It's a pathetic situation. Somebody had uh, spliced in a, uh, a hinge post uh, section right here. But did they really just splice it in? They could have used uh, sheet metal screws to put it in and would have held stronger than what the fuck they did over here. I wouldn't even call that a weld. That's uh, what you call a pile of shit. 
that has actually uh, uh, turned into a rock. Uh, that's dinosaur shit you're looking at right there. That has uh, welded itself onto the vehicle. It's just a rotted out pile of shit. We can walk around, look at the inside of this quarter panel over here as I zoom in. Thank you! Leave the fucking tape alone. Okay, he's not even gonna use that steering column. Just leave it alone for now, loser weekly fucking guy. Quit being in such a fucking hurry. I'm doing a walk around here, bud. If you find any situations there, let me know, okay? Look around the car. Find something on it that I can show everybody that to, to prove it's a pile of shit. Can you do we did that? did this yesterday when Minnie was camped. Doing no, we didn't do it yesterday. We when did we do it yesterday? It's right in there when she We was did? Well, I'm doing it again, out here. I'm getting the big picture. I didn't get no sleep last night over this thing. Really? Okay. If you look down inside there, you can see uh, the quarter panel is completely rotted and uh, the outer fender, not just the outer fender, but uh, we're talking inner fenders as well. And not just that, but look down there on the floor. Look at the fucking floor on this thing. It's just fucking a rotted out piece of shit. You know, the owner went ahead and bought uh, floor pants for it, but I'm thinking that uh, we're going to have to buy a whole fucking floor for this thing. And then, of course, we're going to have to replace this back here. Uh, fiberglass. I can't believe this. Oh, this one's going to have to be replaced. This section here. Uh, you know, we did find one good thing, though. We got one good thing we found that's in good shape. We got a taillight panel that doesn't need replaced. Wow. Out of all the car that we're looking at here, the taillight panel is in good shape. That's amazing, dude. It's fucking amazing. Let's look at the roof of the car. Loser weekly guy, loser. Look what somebody did here, okay? They drilled out the holes, but they didn't weld the holes back up after they pulled the fucking dents. So, if that was gonna be a restoration car, a restored car, what do you think would happen uh, several years from now if I didn't weld that up? What would happen? Moisture would get in it and the paint would crack. The moisture would get behind the bondo and what would happen? The bondo would peel off. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, look at this right here. Look at this right here. Rot it out. Now, do you think that uh, we should take that quarter panel, knowing that there's bondo all over it down here? Look at this. And we should just buy little sections to replace it. We'll keep this middle section, and I can cut this out right here, and we'll go ahead and replace that. Or would it be better just to replace the whole fucking quarter panel? Let's just let's fix it. The whole. This is going to need not just a quarter panel, but two full quarter panels. We're going to have to put this car on the rotisserie. There is no way that we are going to fix, be able to fix a lot of the stuff on this car uh, just sitting on the ground on four wheels. Uh, the rotisserie is going to have to come out of hiding, and uh, we're going to have to put the car on there eventually to actually fix it properly and do the job right. It's a fucking nightmare. And uh, I'm already trying to look into the future of when the nightmare will be over. But we finally got it back, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pull it in the paint booth. If Weekly Loser can put the trash can back and possibly go ahead and get the carbon gear out that he took all the paper off that I didn't want all the paper off, but he went ahead and did it anyway when I said to take the paper off the bottom. I don't know where, where the fuck you and Minnie heard me say take all the paper off. I just meant take it off the bottom and that was it. Because, you know, when we go to wet sand that, do you think we're going to get slime and sludge all over on his brand new paint inside the car? Think about it. When I was taking that off, right. I knew I shouldn't be taking it off. But I Okay, hold on. You yes. said the where you yes. knew. So that means yes. that you should have questioned it and said, Pete, are you sure you want the paper off of the car? You should have double asked me right. instead of speculating and thinking that he said to take it off. Right, and as you recall... Let's get the car out, bud. Let's as get you the recall, car. I did double check with you. No, you didn't. I did. I said to take the you paper took. off the bottom, put the wheels on, and get it ready to pull out. That's what I said, loser weekly guy. I knew what I was doing. That's what I said. Yeah, I know. I could tell. You knew now, exactly what you were now, doing. Now, here's the ultimate failure in micromanaging people. If you'd have let me done what I Micro thought. Micromanaging? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You specifically Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do there. We're just going to watch you. You told me to take all the tape off, and then I double no, checked I did. with I you. No, I did. I said take the tape off the bottom. I said, you want me to take all the tape off. I got it. And I did. All the bottom. Well, that's okay. Now we're going to waste about 70 bucks retaping it. Thank uh, you. I looked at your invoice. Tape cost you $5.31 for a two-inch roll. Okay. 
And we're going to use probably three rolls of tape on that. We're going to use a half a fucking roll of paper. No, we're going to use some plastic. What about my labor? What we're about my electricity? What about everything else it takes to the do the job? The lights aren't even on. You don't have to pay. Not me. right now. I'll I do know. it in one hour. One hour. Do Let's get that it. out. Let's see if you can get that out of there, micromanaging yourself. All right. See, the employees think they were, they're right. They think they know everything, and this should be their fucking business, and I should be working for them. Get over here, boy. All right, Minnie just pulled in. It's time to get to work. Uh, speaking of micromanaging, you know, let's get some micromanaging done on this fucking Mustang and uh, see if we can get it primer today. That's what I'd like to micromanage. At least accomplish that. The nightmare. Fucking nightmare. Sandblasters. Sandblasters. I want to get these doors sandblasted so we can right. see what the hell we got going here. And uh, look at this shit right here. I want to show you this. Of course, they only got one ball hole in the bottom of the door on Weekly Loser. Of course, it's the wrong ball size of what they did here. Instead of doing it right and proper, where you cut in here and down here, they put this section in and then they uh, Jerry rigged this hole, they wobbled it out so they put one bolt to hold the whole door in. Let's go, Weekly. Unhook it. this car prepped up so we can put epoxy primer on it. Sandblasting a vehicle like this is not the best option. The only reason that we had this sandblaster is because some lame brain piece of shit went and sandblasted it the first time. What happens when you sandblast a car versus soda blasting or hand stripping? It takes off the factory uh, you might call electroplated etching that is a metal protector that is applied at the factory on the vehicle that's not on there any longer. So now we have to rely on other chemicals feel the metal to make it work properly. And the product that we're going to use to do that with is epoxy primer. Uh, this is a gray epoxy primer. If you can read, you can see that. It's in several different languages such as Mexican and uh, whatever the fuck else it is. It might be uh, Indian. I don't know, but it basically states right there, epoxy primer. And when you use the epoxy primer, it's very important that you use the epoxy primer hardener. That is a catalyst that goes along with the primer itself. Uh, to seal this car up properly, it's going to take these two items right here to do the job for us. And as you can see, Weekly Loser is uh, dismantling the wheels off of the car. And the reason he's doing that is to make sure that we get every single spot on this inside and out with our epoxy primer. Uh, we don't want to have to go back and have this thing sandblasted. We don't want any surface rust on it whatsoever. So it's very important that we apply two to three full wet coats of epoxy primer on the vehicle. Uh, we have the car sandblasted underneath as well. You can see that. If Blues are Weekly guy can get those wheels out of here, I'd appreciate it. Roll them out, lean them up against that wall. Now I want everybody to take a good look under here at this fucking car. Come on over here, Weekly Loser. You're going to learn something as well. I want you to look up under this car, okay, 
And I want you to tell me what you're looking at under that dash. You're looking at raw, bare, sandblasted metal. To get primer up in all them nooks and crannies and spots is nearly impossible. Unless you are going to remove the dash out of the car, and you cannot remove this dash without taking all the welds off. This is not a bolt-in dash like other vintage cars. All right, it's stupid to go ahead and sandblast that. Not just that, but look what we got here. All right, we got a fucking mess. Okay. Do you understand? Are you trying to comprehend what the fuck I'm talking about here? Yep. Sandblasting is a fucking joke. Here's a good example right here. What did we do to this car? What did we do? Go ahead and tell everybody. Well, we stripped it down to bare metal. By hand. Mm -hmm. With aircraft stripper. Yep. We didn't strip this down because it's going to be replaced. We're replacing the quarter panel with this one. Right here. We didn't sandblast the trunk. Okay, we didn't do that so we can replace the floor section. We didn't do that. Do you see where I'm leading this to? Yeah. Okay, it's unnecessary. All right? We stripped it by hand. Look at my hand. Look what I'm doing here. I'm rubbing my sweat all over it, lavishly getting it wet. All right? Did you see what I just did? And it's not sweaty. Here, I don't think we got a good close-up of that. Watch this, okay? Do you see how I'm doing this? I'm all over the car, lovingly, lashing, lavishly, sweating on it. And nothing will happen to this car except sit here and collect dust because we stripped it by hand and it's still got the factory finish applied at the factory on the vehicle that's supposed to be on there. Don't sandblast your fucking car! That's all I can say. That's it. Do you understand? Was I loud enough for you? I get it, yes. Okay. I'd take a deep breath after that one, bud. It was pretty enthusiastic. It's pretty intense. So, what we'll do is we'll get the epoxy primer on it. It will be sealed up and it will be nice. Will it be done today? Yes. Yes, it will. Later today. And then it will get in line to be worked on later down the line. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Trying to teach everybody out there. Hello. What are you doing? These are stick, these are uh, safety. Okay, don't here. worry about the wheels. We're going to put them on later. We'll put two of them here. Go ahead, bud. All right, there you go. And even teaching weekly loser the rights and wrongs of what the fuck's going on. We gotta get the Kerman key in, bud. Now that you took all the tape off, we gotta get it in here. Yeah, I gotta thank you. That all right, right, thank you, thank you, bud. Don't sandblast your fucking car. If you're gonna restore it, strip it down to bare metal by hand and do it my friend Pete style. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, hollering and screaming at you so you can learn how to do it right. All right, what we did, we went ahead and epoxy sealed. Now I put three full wet coats of sealer on it. You can see the difference in the car itself. And uh, imagine what it looked like before I did all this. Actually looks like a new car. Wouldn't you agree? I would. Does it look like a day and night difference yeah. by the way that we did it here? Yeah. So what we gotta do now, we gotta go ahead and take this thing, we're gonna put it out in the back, we'll tarp it up very heavily, and then once we get a couple projects done, I guess we're gonna have to put it on the rotisserie because that's the only way we're gonna be able to do this car. And what that means is we're gonna take out the rear axle, we're gonna take all the front suspension off, we gotta put it on the rotisserie because this car is fucked in the ass. It's a fucking nightmare job. You know, I made a video said it was called the domino effect. This is beyond domino. 
This is called the nightmare. This is called, do we really want to fuck with this car? Would it be cheaper to just buy another car and be done with it? I mean, in this position, what are you thinking? Well, it's here. We're going to have to bring it to life. Is it the end of the world because of a job like this? Is it? Uh, it might feel like that sometimes to the owner and to the person working on the car, but no, it's not the end of the world. It's what you call a struggle, something that we are going to take into our shop. We are going to start from fi start at the beginning and end at the finish line with it. We are not going to give up on it. We are not going to throw it and give it to the scrap iron yard. This job will be completed and it will be completed through a lot of sweat and tears and a lot of hard working labor to get it done because that's what it takes on a job like this the positive fucking attitude that will bring you to the point of destruction do you understand what i'm saying to the point of destruction do you understand the mind destructing uh mechanism that is gonna start happening here when we start working on this car does it even make sense to you at all I understand it. Okay, what, do you, what am I saying then? Well, to rephrase, this is a bucket full of opportunity. No, actually, this is a bucket full of shit that needs to be scraped out, flushed down the toilet, and cleaned. All right? And that's lightly putting it in a nice fucking way. Yeah. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is my mind will be tortured. Okay? It will be going through S&M. Sadomasochism <laughs> as we work on this pile of shit and turn it in to a beautiful car that it once was. Let's just hope it turns out better than new because now it is becoming not just a rotisserie restoration, okay, where we will be flipping it this way and that way, but it's be starting to become a concourse restoration. Once you put it on the rotisserie, it's a whole different fucking ball of wax. Why don't we call it the resurrection? Why don't we just call it the nightmare and be done with it? We'll resurrect it as we go. Thank you, Tony, loser guy, fucking weekly. Let's get this car. Do you got the gate open? Can we go ahead and push it back there? Open the gate. Let's get her done, bud. The nightmare hasn't even started yet. It hasn't even begun. The only question is, when will it fucking end? Keep your eyes open for this on Southwest Rod and Custom SWRC channel and also YouTube channel DIY Auto School for all the upcoming videos of this car. Uh, they won't be for several uh, weeks, maybe months, because this is the type of job that will rip through your fucking brain and crack your skull open till thinking about it has begun fucking, it's a fucking nightmare. I gotta go. There's my phone. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Southwest. Hello. Yes. Hey, Pete. It's Mr. Foreman. Who? Mr. Foreman. Okay. Hang on. All right. We'll see you later. Take it easy. And uh, go watch a horror movie at the movie theaters. That might be better for you than watching this mess arise from the grave.